the trinity of Abraham surprising was worshiping stars not worshiping God this is the story of Abraham chapter 6 it says so also we did show Abraham the power and the laws of the heaven and the earth that he might you know understand and look what happened to Abraham Abraham looking for the Trinity the Islamic Trinity when the night covered him over he saw the star he said this is my Lord and you notice here the Lord is written with the word L capital letter because this is exactly what he meant he said Hada Rabbi Rabbi in Arabic mean my God specifically my God not just my Lord but when it said he said I love not those who said which is a very stupid argument because you worship the star because the star was there you refuse to worship the star when the star because the star disappeared well Allah never appeared to you so if the reason to reject something to believe in as God is to appear or not to appear Allah never appeared to Abraham never appeared to Muhammad never appeared to Moses never appeared to anyone according to Islam not according to the Bible by the way because we know that God came to Abraham as a man so this is how silly and stupid the story in the Quran that Abraham he worship a star says this is my God and then when the star disappear he said I'm not going to worship this God because he disappear and the Muslim they say to us well here Abraham he was a liar he was just being a scammer he was scamming those people who they believe in that so he wanted to show them a trick so he said okay I believe in your God so he joined them and he took Shahada he said this is my God Akbi Takbir and then he don't believe really he was saying that but he don't believe this is what I was trying to explain to you but look how evil this story is that's mean in, in Islam they have no problem if Abraham was a scam he go between a group and he said to them I believe in your God but in fact he don't believe in their God and he takes Shahada he convert to the religion and later he said to them ah I don't like this God because he disappear are we following guys are we following I hope what I'm saying to you <clears throat> is not too much complicated how silly is this debate imagine I join your religion you, you are a person who believe in a star and then I say to you okay I'm a Christian Prince I want to take Shahada I want to convert your religion this this star is my God hey I worship you star you are my Lord and then after that I say to you you know what this star set I'm not going to believe in it as if those people they never notice the star dis disappear as if Abraham he never saw that before as if this is something discovery channel just just it's like a Abraham he sent a satellite and he discovers something nobody knows well those people they knew the star does not appear at the time and by the way it's a stupid of you to say that I love not those who sit because the star never go anywhere the star is there you don't see it during the daytime because the sunlight will not make you able to see it as simple as that then the drama continue Abraham after that he saw the moon so when he saw the moon rising in splendor he said this is my God but when the moon set he said <laughs> unless my Lord guide me I shall surely be amongst those who go astray hold on hold on there is something really stupid here didn't the Quran just say it that Allah he showed Abraham the guidance so either we have to agree that the one who wrote the story is an idiot he did not write the story in order this is should become later which mean the story here this verse here should come at the end of what happened to Abraham not in the beginning but as we see Allah he showed Abraham the laws of the heaven and the earth and then when Abraham he saw the star he converted to the star religion how stupid that is you just showed him the truth and then he became a star worshiper after he became a star worshiper he became a moon worshiper and then he left the moon for the same reason he left the star worshiping because he said I don't like the one who said as if Abraham he never noticed that the moon does not stay in the sky always and it's set and then Abraham he noticed that there is something that's called the Sun look like he never saw it before 
So when he saw the Sun rising in splendor he said this is my God this is Akbar here here you will notice the Muslim the high the word is used which is Akbar Akbar is not the greatest I know that one day uh, one of the Christians without saying his name I think you know his name he said that Allah Akbar mean God is great which is very stupid to say and I have to school him and make a video about it Akbar And the sun you see in the time of Muhammad and before Muhammad there is two major gods who they are taking over all the territories in the Middle East and even in Europe the Sun and the moon usually those who live in the desert they don't like the God which is the Sun because the Sun killed their animals kill their grass kill you know destroy their water and bring death the moon is kind, is nice, is uh, is uh, is beautiful. It is uh, you know they, they live in the desert, as simple as that. Then the moon never bring harm. So usually those who live in Arabia they worship the moon, and there are some people who worship the sun. If you remember today we mentioned that Allah He have three daughters, but nobody asked himself why Allah He have three daughters for the Arab before Islam. How he have daughters who the, the, the daughters they give birth from where how who you know what i mean when 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 somebody he says to us that the the, the muslims even the quran confirmed that you see we are not making things up that will show you the verses the quran confirmed that the arab worship allah but the allah they have is that allah who have three daughters okay where is those daughters are coming from who is their mother come on one of you must be you know who is the mother of the daughters of Allah? The sun. The sun. They believed that the God of the moon married from the God of the sun and they have three daughters. As simple as that. And this is confirmed in the Quran. Alat, Al Uzza, and Manat. You see here, we explained in the video before this one that here you see it says seen Lat and Uzza. This is a false, stupid translation. In Arabic, it doesn't say that. Alat and Al Uzza. And we explain to you. Let us change the translator. I mean, we have to jump between translators because, you know. Look, this guy here, he wrote it to us as it is. Do you see the word L? Do you see L? Like one of you previously, he said to me, what is the proof that the word A-L mean God? It's in front of you. Uzzah is goddess. Lat is a goddess. And you notice here how L, Lat is separated, correct? It's not one word. Al Uzza Al Lat Al Lah Allah. I think now it's clear, right? So Al is a word meaning God. So God Lat, God Al Uzza, and God Manat the third. Hold on. The reason the Muslims they try always not to talk much about Lat Al Uzza, and not only that, by the way, Muhammad he believe that the three daughters of Allah are real. They are real. They are not pagan. Let me see if I can grab some reference for you. <clears throat> All right. I found it actually in English, but I'm trying to find it um, in official Islamic website. But you know, I hate to, sh to to speak about something without showing the proofs of what we speak of. But you know, Muslims will say, "Okay, he's making things up." Khalid ibn Walid. This is a Muslim website. Abdurrahman.org. I just search in Google, I get it. Don't ask me. This is not my website. This is your Muslim website. Khalid ibn, ibn Walid, which is supposedly one of the cousins of Muhammad. You know, when we say cousin, it doesn't mean that cousin, cousin. You know, the, um, it's one tribe. He, he, he uh, The Prophet of Allah, he sent him to go and kill Al Uzza. To kill what? Al Uzza. And they are quoting for us here in English from Tafsir ibn Kathir. So Muhammad and the Muslims claim. That Al Uzza, the daughter of Allah, was real. And she was a woman with dark skin. Again, here we go. She is black. When Allah Messenger conquered Mecca, he sent Khaid al Walid to the area of Nakhla, where the idol of Al Uzza was uh, 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 erected. On three trees, here we go. Again, three trees. Khalid, he cut out the trees, the three trees. 
and approached the house built around it and destroyed when he went back the prophet to the prophet he informed him of the story of what he did Muhammad he said to him go back finish your mission for you have not finished it really what is that Khalid he went back and when he get closer where he was where also it is servants of Al Uzza they saw him they start invoking by calling Al Uzza when Khalid in, you know uh, approach it he found a naked woman whose hair was untidy and who was throwing sand on her on her head then Khalid Walid he killed her with a sword and he went back to the messenger of Allah who and he said to him that I killed her and this is the story but actually here the story is not in full uh, <clears throat> let us do this I am not satisfied <laughs> oh there's no screen sorry guys I'm I'm really sorry hold on hold on hold on we repeat again and again and again no problem here the story of Al Uzza Al Lat and Al Uzza You will see that the Uzza is exist, and you know, uh, even Al Uzza, they claim that the name Al Uzza is coming from the name of Allah, which is Al Aziz. So there was a three trees, which the idolater place, uh, like you know, their sacrifice or etc., and they have curtain in the area of Nakhla. Nakhla in Arabic means the tree, the palm tree, between Mecca and Al Taif, the Quraysh revered al uzza during the battle of Ahad, Abu Sufyan said, we have al uzza but you have, you don't have al uzza We have al uzza on our side, but you don't have al uzza All right. Then he says, Manat was another idol of the area. All right. And they are telling you where it was located. Then he continued here, speaking about how Muhammad, he killed the daughters of Allah. If you read here with me, they said that when the Messenger of Allah conquered Mecca, he sent Khalid al Walid to the area of Nakhla where Al Idol al Uzza was erected on the three trees of, the, of a forest. Khalid cut the trees and approached the house built around it and destroyed it. Then, when he went back to the Prophet, he informed him of the story, and the Prophet said to him, Go back. You did not finish your mission. Your finish your mission is not finished yet. So Khalid he went back and he found there the servants of Al Uzza, people who serve Al Uzza. And when he approached it, he found a naked woman whose hair was untidy and who was throwing sands on her head. Khalid killed her with his sword and went back to the Messenger of Allah and who he, who he said to and he said to him. That is Al Uzza. <laughs> Muhammad he just confirmed that Al Uzza is a truly a goddess which is exist. Do you see it? When Muhammad he said that this is Al Uzza, that means Al Uzza is something true. And Muhammad he claimed that he just killed the daughter of Allah. So how the Arab are pagan, yet Muhammad he believed that Uzza was a truly the daughter of Allah and he just killed her. Because either Al Uzza is a false goddess, is not exist, it's a fiction. Because remember, Al Uzza, it's not something uh, Muhammad, he was the Muslim worship in the time of Muhammad. They worship him for centuries and centuries and centuries. So, are you saying to me that this woman was alive for centuries and centuries and, centuries and you are the one who killed her? So, Muhammad, he is confirming here that he believes that Al Uzza is a true goddess. Or what he's saying, I killed her. And here you notice, by the way, the translation is not true because this is a dark skinned woman. And they, they make her dark because supposedly she is evil. Because in Islam, if you are black, you are evil.